Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Ozobot can follow lines all by itself, but when multiple lines come together, it doesn't know which way to go. You need to program Ozobot to follow multiple lines and move in a set direction. You will explore line navigation in Ozoblockly to help Ozobot get to different places. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated. The Ozoblockly editor will be working in level three. Your introduction to Ozoblockly lesson nine, line navigation activity sheet and a pencil. In today's lesson, you will develop a block-based code to program your bot to move to a set location following lines and edit a block-based code to program your bot to move to different locations following lines. Let's get started. Open up Ozoblockly and click on level three. First, you will program your bot to follow a line. Go to the line navigation category in the block panel. Do you see a block that will tell the bot to follow a line? Click and drag the follow line to next intersection or line end block into your workspace. Now look at your activity sheet. There are two lines that come together in the middle to make an intersection. The follow line to next intersection or line block will command the bot to follow a line to move there. The bot could start at the park, the school, the store, or the house. It will move to the intersection and stop. Let's watch my bot test it out. I will connect my bot to Ozoblockly by clicking the Evo icon and following the prompts. Then I will place my bot at the park. Now I will click Run Program. My bot follows the line to the intersection and stops. Now it's your turn. Can you program your bot to follow a line and move to the intersection? Then connect your bot, put it on any line, and run the program. Next, you will program the speed of your bot as it follows the line. Go back to the line navigation category in the block panel. Do you see a block that will set the speed of your bot? Click and drag the set line following speed to medium block onto the workspace and stack it above the follow line block. Now use the drop down to change the speed to fast. Then you will start your bot on a different line and run your program to test it. Let's watch my bot in action. I will place my bot at the store. Now I will click run program. My bot follows the line fast to the intersection and stops. Now it's your turn to add code to your program. Can you program your bot to move fast as it follows a the line? Then put it on any line and run the program. In order to keep Ozobot moving, you need to tell it which direction to move at the intersection and to move to a line end. Go to the line navigation category in the block panel. Do you see a block that will tell your bot to pick a direction? Click and drag the pick direction left block onto the workspace and stack it below the follow line block. Now go back to line navigation. Click and drag another follow line to next intersection or line end block and stack it below the pick direction block. Your turn to add code to your program. Can you program your bot to move in a set direction and continue to follow the line? Great job creating a program to instruct Ozobot to follow lines to move to a set location. Now you can help Ozobot get through its day by moving to the places it needs to go. Ozobot begins its day at home and needs to get to school on time. Put your bot on the line above the house. What direction does your bot need to travel to get to school? That's right, Ozobot needs to travel straight. 
To program Ozabot to move straight at the intersection, change the dropdown in the pick direction block from left to straight. Run the program and see if Ozabot gets to school. Can you program your bot to move straight at the intersection? Then put your bot at home and run your program. Did your bot make it to school? After school, Ozobot is going to play with friends at the park. Turn your bot around. What direction does your bot need to turn to get to the park? Ozobot needs to turn right. If you said left, turn your paper around to see the direction Ozobot will be moving. To program Ozobot to move right at the intersection, change the drop down in the pick direction block from straight to right. Run the program and see if Ozobot gets to the park. Can you program your bot to turn right at the intersection? Then run your program. Did your bot go to the park? Ozobot needs to go to the store to get something to eat for dinner. Turn your bot around. What direction does your bot need to move at the intersection to get to the store? That's right. Ozobot needs to go straight. To program Ozobot to move straight at the intersection, change the drop down in the pick direction block from right back to straight. Run the program to see if Ozobot gets to the store. Can you program your bot to move straight at the intersection? Then run your program. Did your bot get to the store? Finally, Ozobot is ready to go back home. What direction does your bot need to turn at the intersection to get home? Ozobot needs to turn left. If you said right, turn your paper around to see the direction Ozobot will be moving. To program Ozobot to turn left at the intersection, change the drop down in the pick direction block from straight to left. Run the program and see if Ozobot makes it home. Can you program your bot to turn left at the intersection? Then run your program. Did your bot make it back home? Great job exploring line navigation. Let's make sure your work is complete. Did you program your bot to follow a line? Did you program your bot to change speed and follow a line? Did you program your bot to complete its day starting at home, going to school, going to the park, going to the store, and then ending back at home? If you're looking for more to do, you can create one longer program to move Ozobot to three different places on your activity sheet, use the template to draw your own places for Ozobot to go and program Ozobot to move to each place in a set sequence, or write a story to tell about Ozobot's day using the route it traveled.